Hey everybody, this is Bo. Welcome back. Now today we're doing something a little different. As you can see, we're in a super flat world. It's just me, my lows himself, and us. We're going to build today the safest, easiest, most high power nuclear reactor there is in Tekkit. Now, maybe not the best, but this is a very, very solid design. In order for, I'm going to be cheating, just getting the items, live with it. I've done this so many times legit, it's ridiculous, but for right now, just go with it, okay? So what we need is, the idea here is we're going to be using energy collectors to power an energy condenser that is going to make ice. Now, why do you need ice? Now, if you remember right, you can use ice as a cooling, uh, as a cooling uh, apparatus for the uranium bits, so the uranium cells. So let's just get our uranium cells while we're at it. Obviously, you guys will... Oh, man. Maybe we'll get those later when I have a less full inventory, okay? Um, but what we're looking for is I will put a list of items you will need and also the putting a link to the website that helped me out quite a bit for building this. Uh, what we'll need is six reactor chambers, one nuclear reactor, three redstone, a redstone repeater, one filter, mm -hmm, very helpful, a timer, also extremely helpful, some pneumatic tubes, these are great for sending packets of stuff and returning them, which is kind of what we want, a screwdriver for making sure that the filter is on the right place, one energy collector or condenser, as we just saw and heard about, two Mach 1 energy collectors, these are just raw first level, nothing too funny. I mean, they're a lot cheaper to have two of these than it is to make one Mark II, and this will supply more than enough power for us to be able to build everything we need. Uh, what I would suggest is we're gonna add a couple glowstone onto that thing, just so that way the energy collector has constant power regardless of uh, sun or whatever, but you'll find out pretty quick. We're gonna put a little loop in there so that way we don't have any problems with meltdowns because literally we're going to put the loop, which is what this, this, and more importantly, this, the thermal monitor, very, very, very key to this thing. Uh, the thermal monitor will shut the nuclear reactor down after it starts to, when it just barely starts to overheat at 500 units. Uh, so at that point it shuts it down and then no problem we can come back to it later just in case there's a screw up and also if you're doing this on a like a multiplayer monitor make sure that they allow world anchors you're going to want a world anchor on this thing because if you don't and you go away there's always the possibility that this reactor might just funk up one of these filters might not work then you're not getting any action and boom boom you do not want boom boom all right so that's enough talking let's get to building First things first, let's get our collectors and our condenser together. Okay, so this one is not that bad. And then we'll have our filter. Now, we're not going to really dick around with putting the tubes down yet, but you can make it very, very close to where you're going to actually do the monitor itself. Or the, uh, what are we doing here? Make do the reactor? Right. Let me just get a little bit of dirt. I don't want to, I know I get plenty of dirt next to me, but I don't want to really do that. All right, so first things first, we place down, let me make sure I'm a little away from the spawn just in case I go boom, boom. There is my condenser. I'm going to stick ice in it. There's no power going into this guy right now as we have no power source. However, watch the energy collectors. Boom, boom. And do you see the two energy collectors will make about a stack of ice every second, which is perfect. That is exactly what I want. And these guys are just cranking around doing their thing. They don't have to do anything. As soon as this thing maxes out, it'll just start banking EU. And you're never going to run out. Have good faith in that. Put down your filter. As you see, our filter is pointed the correct position. If it wasn't, you take your screwdriver. There we go. I think that's the correct way. All right. Nice, nice, nice. Now what these things will do is once we enable this guy nice love it that filter will start this rig will start sending stacks of ice into our nuclear reactor which we will place down now what we're going to do first is put down a little block of dirt 
then let's get our reactor and then our chambers together. Now, these don't have any effect or problem until you start filling them. But make sure you have six nuclear chain, like reactor chambers. You want these on every side. So when you open it up, it looks like this nice, big, open expanse. Do not put that in there. Otherwise, bad stuff happens and we go boom, boom. We don't like boom, 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 boom in the room. No, thank you. All right, so that is pretty damn easy. This doesn't look too difficult so far, right, guys? Not too difficult. All right, so we definitely have ourselves some action. I'm trying to remember if I have, how many I have to turn that on, but we'll get there. All right, so this is the basic setup. You are going to be putting two collectors, your condenser, a filter, and then into there. Yeah, that was right. Okay, we'll, we'll dig with that in a bit. Uh, so now we need to make sure this thing is safe. Now the way we're going to make it safe is you need to follow the directions I'm about to tell you, okay? And put the put the glowstone exactly as I have it. Otherwise, oh, that's right. I have the ticker, the timer that I'll put over on the, uh, the, the filter. That's right. I totally spaced on that one. Derp. All right. Now what we're going to want to do is we're going to put down the repeater right here facing this way see exactly how it's faced we're going to put also we have a lever that we will press shift and you can put it on there shift and it'll put it on an active block okay one two three then hold shift and place your thermal monitor right there we want the 500 that is exactly what we want click down the the lever and now you've activated the circuit we are good to go all right so that's the basic setup you have your full out rig right you have so the the power is in the loop now the reactor is off so i can leave all of that in there but let's uh let's go make sure that we have our our uranium core set up so just make sure that's the 500 this loop looks exactly like this with the repeater, just as it is. The lever helps quite a bit because it actually lets you turn it on and off the reactor easily. All right, let's make sure we get back to noontime. Haha, <laughs> love the cheat menu. Okay, so now our basic setup is like this. Now what we're going to do is we need to just start putting uranium in the machine. We have quite a bit of uranium we need to get, so uranium cells nice uh there's probably a faster way to do this but you guys don't care there are 47 uranium you can place in here and here is how you put them in there i know this is crazy okay i know what you guys are thinking i know what you're thinking just go with me bear with me uh go in here start grabbing out we need one two three four five six seven stacks Okay, we're going to put the seven stacks right here, or seven, and you won't even believe it. The rest of this is all uranium. I know it's nutty. I know it seems like a freaking wow. Why would there be so much uranium and so little cooling? Well, trust me, there will be plenty of cooling where we're going to be doing. All right, so here we go, and do one more. Now. Obviously, I'd be making a shitload of uranium with having a bunch of quarries going and whatnot. You you guys get it, okay? You guys are experienced players and kind of dig where I'm going with this. So you have to load it up in this way. If you do not load it up in this way, you will blow up <laughs> your engine because the high voltage, which is actually this one, right? The high voltage will only handle... If I remember somewhere around 2048 EU before it blows up, that's bad. But thankfully, this machine with this configuration will do 2030 EU per tick. That's a shitload of power, folks. But if you do not do this, you get boom boom. However, you can use less uranium cells to get less power, but do not go anywhere other than this configuration or bad shit happens. Trust me, do not want that. All right, so let's put down our timer. 
Now, the killer part about the timer is the, the timer will start sending. Will start sending. Come on now. Did I have it the wrong configuration or something? It's totally possible. All right, come on. What? Why aren't you taking any ice, buddy? You should be sending ice. Let's try it. Alright, so it's sending ice only if it needs it. Sick. You'll start seeing the ice go if... Yeah, so the ice gets delivered, ice gets made, everyone's happy. You'll never exhaust I this. I swear to God, this is the best. This is the best. Alright, we'll drop down, usually in your in a world anchor situation, you drop down a world anchor somewhere here within like a 3x3 radius of your machine. Just do that for for goodies, it's all good to me. And that's the basic setup, fellas. Now, what we're going to want to do is let's get some power going and get a real, real basic setup happening. Okay. So, we need one part, oh, yeah, remember that whole shift thing? Come on. Ah, oh, come on. There we are. Whole shift thing, and make sure that the screwdriver... Is it a wrench with this one? I can't really remember. I think it's a, I think it's a wrench with this one. Let me just turn creative on real quick. Ah, nutsack. Okay, so HV transformer. And I think I need a wrench, is actually what's up. Now let's try that. Wrench. Remember this wrench, not the other wrench. There we are. Now put a piece of glass fiber, and then put a mass fabricator. Okay. What I would suggest doing is, this is, this HV will, will take the 2048 push it into here, and then push it into here. And actually what we're going to do is, rather than dick with that, I do not want to have a problem with that thing blowing up. We're going to put it into an MSFE, or MFSE, or SU, which is the large power sink. Okay. So this will be very, very helpful. Okay, that should be good. Oop, come on, getting a little dark. Don't need that. It's already kind of a long video as is, but you guys kind of need this level of detail, otherwise you're going to blow yourselves up. Alright, good. We will test the, make sure that the system works on something that will not blow up first, and then go from there. Alright, now welcome back. Freaking finally, I think there was just some derp that had to happen huh, in order for this thing to work right, but go figure, right? Oh, what did I do? Just derped it up again. There we go. Well, the MSFE now charging it. Uh. There we go. Come on now. There we are. Oh man, look at the power go up. Now finally, there is the power. Now I didn't dick it up and put it in the wrong place. But, at least we're nice and safe. <laughs> Alright, so as you guys see, the... Ugh. Okay, high voltage cable goes into our high voltage converter. Glass fiber then translates to our big storage box. This will store it and output it at 512. And then to a fat mass fabricator. If... You do not use one of these to convert the power down from 2030 into 2048 into 512. Bad stuff happens. This blows up. You go boom and bad, bad. Don't want to do that. And this nice UU matter will make itself every... Mm, like about a minute or so. So you can make a stack in about 15 minutes now. Something like that. Stack in about 15 minutes. Pretty sick. So this is the same power out output as about four high voltage solar arrays. And if you're going to be doing a bunch of quarries anyway, I mean, this is the way to go. As you see, the 
the rods are kind of doing their thing and it's totally stocked up on ice. You will never have to mess with around with it again. Um, the pistons will just keep returning. The, the pneumatic tubes will just keep returning excess ice straight back into the collector. And as you see, I mean, we're making ice a shitload faster than we can ever use it. And <laughs> it's just sending ice. You're never going to run out of ice. So let's just assume for a moment, okay, that this timer goes boom, boom, goes by. So now we don't have any ice going to the system, right? The ice is just getting eaten away. Let's just say ice gets eaten away. Boom. You guys saw that? It's literally going off and on at 500. Okay, so it will not continue going. You cannot blow this thing up with the way I have it set up. So do that. All right. And then it'll just top us back up. Boom, boom, schling. Our happy little ice delivery system is replenishing our ice stocks. How nice is that? Now you see, nice green, good, and happy mass fabricator. So I hope that was helpful for some of you guys. Obviously, you need to modify this for your own needs, and it takes a shitload of material to build, but after you build this thing, you can run... 10 quarries easy and one cool thing i found out is you can just run glass fiber straight from here right into a quarry like we can just do that real quick and i can show you like this is 512 cable just going straight into a quarry no problem at all ah oh oh bad oh that's bad Oh boy. <laughs> You'd need an energy link first. Why don't we just make sure that shit doesn't happen again? Okay. Oh my god, that was really stupid. That would have been so, so stupid. But I wouldn't put it by me. An energy link. Okay, good. How about we try that again, ladies and gentlemen, without the retardation? There we go. And as you see, it works just fine. Straight off. A hundred and... These don't blow up, blow up at all. And you can run it straight off. And this is feeding at 512. You don't need to dick around with low voltage stuff. Just do your thing. And of course, one of these EU matters things really helps out. And that's 22 EU. Literally, this thing is going as fast as it could possibly go. So I hope that's beneficial for some of you guys. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Obviously, my <clears throat> my way of doing it is probably different than some of you guys, but I'm telling you, this way is retardedly easy. And if you can get anything better than 2030, that's 100% reliable all the time. I mean, you let me know. So I'll talk to all you guys a little later. Again, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, love you. Talk to you later. Bye.